Hey guys, this video will be very easy. We're just going to create bow and we won't be doing anything we haven't done before. It's just we need to create it so we can use it later in the combat. And there is one small fix I need to do first because after last video I messed up the carry capacity. It doesn't work anymore. And it is just because if you open your um, stats component, this function right here, set current stats. So I clamped the value between zero and max. So now the carry capacity can go past the max value. So what we need to do is check on the beginning. Uh, don't do branch, just do from stat. And it's not equal enumerator. And we need to check if it's not equal carry capacity. And then we just do select. We connect it here. And now if it's not equal carry capacity, that means it's true. We need to connect this clamp to it. Disconnect it from here and then connect return value to both of these. And if it is equal carry capacity, so this one is false, we just need to connect this value. Okay. So simple as that. And now it should do an exception for carry capacity. So it starts working again. And now if we want to create bow, we need to get some asset, but I haven't found anything good in Quicksilver Bridge. So we have to go to Sketchfab. And in the Sketchfab, if you search for bow, there is quite a lot of nice assets that we can use. But I really like this one, bow and arrow, because it already has arrow that we can use later. And it's just generally a nice asset. So download it in FBX. And don't forget to credit the creator. Once you have it downloaded, go back to your Unreal Engine and import the FBX file. I already imported mine. So in the meshes, I created a new folder called bow. And it imported us these assets with arrow and everything. And I just want to create the texture, texture for my bow. I'm not going to do arrow now or quiver. We can do that in the later video. For now, what we need is bow wood and bow metal. So those assets that you have in a zip folder, you can just import them. Everything that starts with bow metal and bow wood. And then from the bow, you can just open the first one remove this and then import the wood. Mm, this one will be normal. Base color, this one is roughness. Normal. This is AO, so ambient occlusion. And this one is metallic. Apply it. Now if you check it, the wood is quite shiny, so I'm just going to disconnect the roughness. So save it. And then on the bow, we can just open the second one. And in this material, we need to get these five textures, which is bow metal. This one will be base color. This one will be ambient occlusion. This one is metallic. This one is normal and the last one is roughness, which I think this is for metal. So yeah, on these golden bits, the metal actually looks nice, the roughness. So I'm just going to keep it. It's a very nice asset. And after we've done that, let's rename this bow to golden bow underscore SM. Uh, let's check what it looks like in the world. So dock this one to the project. You can close the materials. And let's place it somewhere. And as you can see, it's gigantic. So best way would be to actually change it in a blender. So we can already change the pivot point as well. And we would keep the pivot point somewhere in the middle, maybe. So all of the bow assets are the same and then they all fit in the hand or in a back socket or whatever. But for this video, I'm just going to change the size of it. So build scale. So if you go to static mesh, we got the build scale here. 
I'm just going to change it to 0 0.05, 0 0.05 on all of them and apply. And then yeah, it should be okay. Let's see next to our oh, player mesh. I'm just going to drag out my meta human so I can see how big the bow is. And now you can see it's actually still really big. And I'm having an issue that it's flickering sometimes. And that happens when you're changing from really big asset here in Unreal to small one. So first let's make it 0 0.03, apply it. And then for the flickering of the camera, you got the positive bounce, bounce extension. Just increase the value here to be like 500 and then save it. That should stop the flickering. And now the bow is a good size. Okay. So what we can do is create asset from it and for that, we need to go to Blueprints, uh, Items, right click on the Items, create Child Blueprint class, and this one will be Golden Bow underscore SM. Inside, I'm going to set the mesh to Golden Bow, Compile and Save. And now uh, we can create Icon. So in the Icon Creator, Icon Capture, go to Viewport. I do seem to have a, some strange issue here that is not projecting my preview. Mm, why is that material? What is wrong? Was there some kind of update? Uh, if that happens, you might be able to just See, yeah, just change it. It just needed to refresh. So now in my icon capture, yeah, it works again. So I can change this to golden bow. Golden bow. Now reset the value. I'm going to turn on the snapping. Put it in the middle. I rotate it this way, 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it like that. Maybe turn on the stop link and just put it so it's in the middle somewhere like that. And there is one thing with the bows that they are really thin as well. So they don't look very good on the icons. So one thing we can do is just change this middle scale. Is it the middle one? No. This one, this one here, first one. Yeah, to make it a little bit wider. Okay. And then just move it down again. And also it's very dark. And since this is a gold bow, I can change this to like a yellow color. Just make it brighter. Okay, something like that. And then when you compile and save, I mean, you can play with your icons as you want, but I think this will look better. Now right click, create static texture. This one will be golden bow underscore image icon, not image. And in here, uh, UI for texture group, compression setting user interface one and zero. Save it, close this, close this, and this, and the ball, and this one, and stats components. We don't need anything open. Now I just need to go to data table. So items DT, I'll create a new one. This one will be ball. Ah, one more thing. We need a new type. So in item types, add enumerator. And this one will be bow. Save it. Now back in items, uh, it's not going to be bow, it's going to be golden bow. 
So it's not just a generic one. This one will be golden bow name. Item class will be golden bow. Static mesh, we got golden bow. Item icon, golden bow. One, one type is bow. Skeletal mesh, we don't need. Rarity can be epic. And base stats. Uh, what do I have first? So you keep it uniform, it's like damage and attack speed. So I'm just going to do damage. Which is a max stat, so maybe like, I don't know, 18. And attack speed can be 1.1. 1.1. And I can also add another one to base stat, so we can see it's not just the two that we need. So I'll add critical hit chance will always be on this bow, which will be 5 into max stat again, not current. And then stats, I can just add another 2, like stamina, 30, and then a lot critical hit damage, uh, 20. Doesn't matter now, we're just setting it so we got something there. Conditions, nothing, weight uh, can be quite light. Three value will be 120. And description, I'm not going to fill up now. Crafting uh, while we're here, I'll just do some uh, wood. And quantity will be six. Crafting level upgrade level that is all good. I'm not going to change that for now. Now we do have an item. We can remove this and remove the player. And we can just uh, duplicate one of these and change it to bow. Golden bow. Let's see if that works. So we do have bow. It already has the um, collision settings. For what it's called. And now you can see the icon is looking a little bit better because if it if you didn't put a light on it, it would just be too dark. And in the stats, it's working fine, but we can't equip it. So to equip it, we go to player blueprint. We open the use item function and the bow is basically going to act as two handed because it also needs two hands. You cannot equip anything into offhand. So what we need to do is from bow, we can just connect it to the same one that the two handed is connected. So this one here, it will unequip the offhand. And then also when we equipping the offhand, we need to unequip the bow. And for that, I believe we do have uh, this function is 200 equipped that goes from offhand. So if you open it up, here we're checking if we got the two hand in the main hand. So we need to do or boolean and do equals enum and bow. So if it equals bow or 200 then we return true. Compile and save. And now I just need to add some offhand to test it out, which is my rock blade, is it? Rock blade. I pick all this up, equip it to two hand, unequip it seems to be fine. Uh, but it's duplicating, it's not removing the item. I think I forgot to connect it. Then if I equip the offhand, doesn't unequip either. Hmm. Bow on 200. Okay, so let's check why is it duplicating. That's probably going to be in our use function. I have everything open, so close this here, open it again. And then bow. Hmm.
goes to this normally it removes it equipment slot index ah okay so in attach item we also need to connect it to spawn actor and then in remove item remove attached item you need to do the same so bow to destroy the actor this one here okay compile and save and now it should be working so equip unequip it's fine equip this one equip the offhand it unequips it equip the bow it unequips the offhand okay seems to be working all good and now we do have a bow asset ah one more thing we need to actually attach it to the player so we don't have a socket yet so go to the mesh double click on the skeletal mesh asset uh, we can either do it here or you can just click select the skeleton i'll just right click remove all attached assets and now here on spine 5 when we do have a shield and 200 we'll add socket and this will be bow okay we will add preview asset which will be our golden bow it's here so golden bow select the socket rotate it And just don't do it too close to the skin. There could be even a little gap. So you can equip the armor. And then once you have it equipped. There we go. We do have a bow. Okay. And in the next one we can actually make. A, a, the scabbard. Or what, what you call it. Uh, the thing that you put the arrows in. I keep losing my words. What is it called? A quiver. So we can make a quiver in the next one and it will be separate from player inventory and it will just contain all the arrows. So every time you pick up an arrow, it will go to quiver automatically and then you can select which arrow to use. So I think that's going to be better system than just having having multiple arrows in the inventory and equipping it yourself which is pain in the ass so until the next one bye